I sent this email to my professor. A humble request from a student. This mediocre B grade student that filmed in your class last semester. Yours truly, the student that doesn't take notes as well. Kia. No way he actually replied. Welcome back, hope you guys are having a great day so far. This week is, there's no other words of putting it, but it's really stressful. I'm stressed out. My face is breaking out, like... Look at this dude. Okay, don't look at it. I have been a good student, okay? Spending literally days and weeks procrastinating on the things that I need to do. Why do I always wait until like the last week before I start doing anything substantial? in life. This week is like an admin week for me because I have so many documents that I have to handle. You see these? These are paper. I haven't touched them in a while. This is what I have to deal with for this week. So you see this? This is a pen and you can write stuff with it. Amazing. Wow. I wonder who come up with this invention. Besides like the admin stuff, I also have two assignments that I have to churn out for this week. But like who cares about assignments, right? No, actually I care. I don't want to fail the course. But yeah, it's 8.45. It's still early. I'm going to head off to campus now. But before that, I'm going to head to gym. So let's go. He off a work, he playing. Leave you all alone laying at home. So I think I forgot to mention is that I'm not actually taking this class because I already took it last semester. I'm only here to find a prof because I have to ask him to sign a couple of documents. So I'm just going to sit at the back and do my own work. She got a princess complex. She ain't gon' play that shit. Princess complex. She ain't gon' play that shit. Princess complex. She always get what she wants. She always get what she wants. So I just got back from class and it's really hot outside today. So yeah, this was the email that I sent to my professor, and I'm just going to read it out. A humble request from a student. Dear professor, this mediocre B-grade student that filmed in your class last semester was fortunate enough to be nominated. Whilst rummaging through the application process, I was given a reference form containing the instruction of, as I quote, complete this section and give one set of the forms to your academic advisor and or the professor who best knows your academic abilities. And immediately, professor's presence popped into my mind, just like how professors popped into the comment section of my videos. It is my humble request and will be most grateful that you can kindly take some time and go through the reference form and write down whatever you desire regarding your impression impressions and observations of this student. I have linked the document below. Thank you in advance and have a great day ahead. The student that does not take notes as well, Kyo. And surprise, surprise, he actually replied, Dear Kyo, sure, I'd be happy to. Please send me your CV and transcript to help me come up with something to write about you apart from your editing skills, sir. Please. Please. So you don't have to, okay? You're making me blush. Hope everything goes well and you'll be inspired to produce more interesting videos under a new environment. Best professor. Yeah, that's my professor. And that was pretty cool. No cap, but the professor has good vibes. I can't disclose everything in the email because nothing is confirmed yet. And I'm not the type of guy that says, oh, I have a secret and please don't tell anyone because that's how secrets become not secrets anymore. I have met too many snitches in my life. Do leave your best guess in the comments to what the email is about. I don't want to hype things up because nothing is confirmed. Okay. You know, like in my videos, I always try to give you guys some advice or something that you can take away from this video. So it's not like you guys just watch some random videos on YouTube. So I guess what we can learn from this video is please don't write emails to your professors like I do. This is not a good example. Unless your professor watches your YouTube videos and approve of your stupid decisions, I don't think that a lot of professors like emails to be written in this format, okay? There's a good chance that they might not even reply you just like the girl you DM'd on Instagram. But besides that, I'm really sorry for the late upload. I hope that you guys still enjoyed this little snippet of my life. I just think that it's funny. It's probably not funny. It's probably I'm the only one that thinks it's funny, but you know, it's okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not but yeah, shout out to my professor. I actually even asked him if I can take a picture with him so I can use it as my thumbnail, as you can see. So yeah, if you're watching the video, professor, 
I don't know what to say. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Feel free to ask me anything in the comment section down below, including you, Professor. I know you're watching this video as well. I still read and reply to almost every single comment. I love reading you guys' comments. So yeah, feel free to ask anything or give me some ideas down below. Boy's kind of running out of ideas to what to film. But yeah, with all that being said, I have to go back and finish my two assignments that is due this week. Fuck. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I think I'm in love, say it way too often. I can't play these games, think I'm switching up the